Bridget's 2k is the main low poke you'll use in pressure, and since it's her fastest button and is only minus 2 on block, it lets you set up staggers and tick throws. 2k 2d is a natural frame trap, which is great to pair with the staggers and throws, since counter hit 2d gives good damage and a lot of corner carry. If you want to keep it true string, 2k 6k is the go-to. 2d is minus 6 but spaces you out, while 6k is minus 4 and keeps you close, making it potentially punishable if you stop there. Ending with 2-3 success will frame trap and push them back to either return to neutral or keep you spaced and safe. From the range 2d 2-3 success leaves you, it'll be hard for many characters to contest you, so 5h becomes a great option. From 6k into 2-3 success, backdash 5h is a good way to get out and still be a threat. And remember you can do 5h roll into early jh to threaten a large area from far away. But if they stay crouching, the jh will likely whiff. 6p is another option, but it's much more risky to throw out, especially since they could choose to do a low. If they use a slower option to try to catch backdash, you can counter poke with fast buttons to stuff them. It's up to you if you want to engage in this RPS, but it's always good to stay unpredictable. Also, if they FD, or if you are a bit spaced out, a 2k may whiff. If you like using 6k over 2d, then you may actually like that they FD, since it makes you safer. And 6k will be the go-to confirm from 5p and 2p, since you can't go into 2d. If you get out the 5h, you can threaten roll for some mix-ups. The other option from our 2k is 6h. Midscreen is not that great on block, but is great on counter hit. Mostly just mix up between 6h into 236s, 236h, or 214s, and threaten 5h. Scooter is our trickiest option to use in pressure. It varies from wildly unsafe to being up to plus 4. It all depends on how late into the move you connect with them. I find it best to start off holding back, then near the end, hold forward to speed up with the late active frames into them. It gets easier to time if they FD. This will be very important for combos and hit confirms, but even then, those will be spacing dependent. Make sure to practice hit confirming into Scooter by setting them to block random. And it may be good or bad, but 2p into 6k always has a gap. For using Scooter and Pressure, after 6k you'll be close enough that no matter how you end with Scooter, even with the follow-up, it'll be punishable. After 2d it spaces you out so that you're practically safe even though it's minus 6. You can also use this space to take the risk of a slowed scooter to make yourself plus again. It'll take respect, but there's already multiple frame trap options so it's unlikely they'll be mashing. And you can do the break at any point, though you'll be less safe. It at least gives the option of frame trap mid scooter to stuff mashing. Bridget is one of the few characters that have a multi-hitting low to pair with a throw option. Since she can do close slash into dash throw, but also close slash into 2s, it gives a solid strike throw that they can't fuzzy throw to defend against. And since you can delay the 2s to frame trap, it can stop people trying to delay mash with a low to stop the run up throw. If you mix in close slash dash close slash, it makes them even more likely to get caught by the double hitting low. And while you should only use it once in a while, she does have a command grab. Unfortunately, it isn't throw invul, and at 27 frame startup, it isn't that strong. It can be used in the air too, but it won't grab them on the ground unless you're at around half of the regular jump height. It does work off of the height roll sends you at though. Canceling into it after the first hit of 2s, at the end of the string where you would normally frame trap with 2 3 6s, or even in neutral when they're scared of your 5h can all be decent times to use it. After threatening close slash into frame traps and lows, close slash into 2 and 4 s then close slash 2s roll sets up our high low mix up of JD versus empty land 2k. If you're a bit scared they'll react and mash, 2k 6k scooter into break also works to keep you very plus. If you do 2s into 2 on for s, then you'll be able to space out somebody immediately mashing a quick button and dash up 2k to get the plus frames. Make sure to threaten frame traps like delayed 2s or 5h to stop them from mashing, then go for options like this. To be extra safe, close slash 2 on for s, then backdash 5h, though it's more of a reaction mash callout than a way to set up strong pressure. Her basic close slash block string without RPS is just close slash 2s 5h 5h follow up, then 236s. You can replace the 236s with 214s, then dash up 2s 5h roll to go into the high low. Another option for the overhead is air back dash js, which leaves them grounded to set up a 2k 2d knockdown. If you do the jd overhead, then they'll be popped up and you'll get more damage, but worse okay. For the low, it's up to you to do 2k 6k or 2k 2d depending on what you want next. If they FD the close slash, then you won't be able to close slash again, so do 2s 5h roll instead. The 2s and far slash follow up by pressing s again can be useful when spaced out. It true strings up close, but farther away it frame traps letting you keep the threat of roll. If you're not covered by the yo-yo coming back, then they have lots of ways to mash out on roll, with 6p being the best option, but the follow ups beat this nicely. Same goes with the 5h follow up. Trying to manually frame trap with 5h after 2s feels difficult for me, but the follow-ups are auto-timed as long as you're spaced. 
and you can always stop after an attack, then dash up into another attack to counter hit or punish a preemptive mash. Bridget makes really good use of Wild Assault since she can go into 2 and 4 S and still be plus 5. After 2 and 4 S, do Close Slash into 1 hit of 2 S, then 5 H roll to set up our high low safely. Close Slash Far Slash 5 H roll also works if you prefer that. If you're too spaced for Close Slash, then Far Slash 5 H into 5 H follow up roll also works. And if you just prefer Corner Carry or the threat of a low throw, then do 2K 2D Scooter into Break for plus ranks. For the throw, just micro dash throw and you get a combo off the yo-yo. So putting together what we've learned, Wild Assault is a great way to get the first layer of mix-ups going. If they block that, then you think they'll be respectful, set up 2 for s mid block string and set up another mix-up. If they block both of those, you'll have built enough meter to go into scooter for an RC high-low through JS or MT land 2k. In the corner, 6H becomes a bit better since you can do 2 for s and threaten quick buttons. If you don't delay the yo-yo toss, then you'll be in range of 2s which is hard for many to contest on reaction. This will leave you outside of 2p and 2k range, but you can dash up 2k 6k into the plus frame setup. But if you delay the j2 on 4s, you'll be closer letting 2p reach without any extra movement, letting you get the plus frames. You can also do 2p 6k stagger into 5p, then roll to get the roll safely, but there are two matchable gaps before the safe roll. And of course you can always just do roll whenever you want, as long as you are able to threaten frame traps. If they FD you out, then 5h into scooter and break makes you plus again. And if they get counter hit by 6H, then you get a nice combo. 6H into 2 success is the safer frame trap option that leaves you slightly plus. You can still use roll to go for mix-ups, but you won't be safe, so you'll need to rely on conditioning. To make it a bit safer, but give up the mix-up, cancel the roll into JS early. This will be a faster overhead, and potentially catch people trying to reaction mash. And if you get close enough, it gives a better combo with another roll on hit or block. But the 2K 6H won't reach if you're far away. For close slash, doing 2s then 2h into follow up then 2 success is the standard leaving you in a favorable range. Replacing 2 success with 2 s gives dash up 2s 5h roll as a safe approach, but the dash 2s can be stuffed or avoided. If they FD, it'll be harder to get them to sit still long enough to block the dash 2s. Reacting to FD and doing 2 on 4s early is great since it lets you dash up 2h into the follow up then roll. The dash up 2h catches them on the ground, but also trying to jump out and forces them into the mix up. And of course since you're spacing yourself out, it opens up the option to use scooter for plus frames at the cost of being mashable. Something to note is because close slash and 2s are both double hitting at set times, the opponent could IBFD the second hit of 2s and make the 5h whiff, then whiff punish. This is not a problem mid screen, likely due to the way pushback works mid screen versus corner. It's already a risk for them, but if they try it, remember to use command grab and 2 on 4 s to steal turns. I mentioned it before, but RC is best used after scooter into shoot into JS for a double overhead versus empty 2k for the low. Or off shoot, fast RC down with a button into 2s is a good quick low, especially if they're expecting the overhead first. From 6h, fast RC into JS and JD can both be used as overheads, and fast RC down can be used as a low. If you already have a 2 3 success yo yo out, you can block string into RC, then do roll for a true string mix up. If you get a 2 on 4 s into close slash then RC, it'll give you the option for two mix-ups. Doing the command grab into fast PRC JP gives a relatively quick overhead and is great to throw in as another part of the mental stack. From a close slash dash PRC, it gives the first hit of close slash into 2 on 4 s then the first hit close slash into 2s 5h roll as a true string both corner and mid screen. Though mid screen it's best to do close slash dash carry 2 on 4 s after the BRC so that it works against FD but if they do FD, there will be a small gap regardless. Something I see a lot of top players do is 2-3 success, fast PRC roll into the high-low, but from what I've tested it loses pretty cleanly to 6p, which I'm sure is hard to do on reaction, but worth mentioning. Something that you should never go for, but I thought would be fun to include, is baiting YRC by doing super. The YRC will hit you, but Roger will still attack, punish, and give you a combo. 2k2d is what sets up Bridget's best Oki. The most basic version of this is to do 2 on 4 s and then roll into meaty JD. This meaty's giving a nice combo on hit and safe jumps. But you can catch back dashes by buffering a close slash when you would have landed assuming the JD wouldn't connect. It doesn't change anything if they get hit or block, but it does mean a close slash will come out and get hit by reversals since they'll make JD whiff like back dash. If they FD then you won't get a close slash after and a 2k won't reach, but if they don't FD then JD into close slash into roll sets up the mix safely. If they do FD, then you'll get far slash then roll, which works the same. 
If they get hit, doing close slash into roll doesn't mess the combo up at all, so it's a very safe and solid layer 1 option for Oki. And if they backdash a lot, hard callouts like dash up 2s are fine too. A second layer of this is to do roll into whiff button to fall faster, then dash throw. It's important to back throw because forward throw sends them into the yo-yo and changes it from plus 46 to plus 5. Another part of this second layer is to do roll into whiff button, then 2k for a low. 2k 2d pops them up for nice corner carry and has more block stun. 2k 6k can work, but you'll have to wait longer before cancelling the roll to kill time. Either way, you will need to delay before cancelling the roll, or the second one will whiff. After the low, either take the plus frames as they are, or go into a second roll for another high low. The third layer is to do a delayed JD, letting the roll go farther. This makes the overheads hit later and catches backdash without having to option select. But it will now lose to reversals and fast mashes, though 6Ps may or may not lose depending on how long the delay is. This will mess up the timing to go into the roll safely for mixups, but gives a later hitting overhead and beats the problem of backdash. In the corner, this Oki at layer 1 is even better since close slash catches backdash by just doing the setup normally. Another option is to jump forward with JK into falling JS. This will safe jump with good timing, but depending on the spacing, you may need to dash jump first. This dash jump may make you unsafe to reversals and 6Ps, but if you're quick enough, it can still work. After the JS, you can double jump into JP for an overhead or land 2K for the low. If they FD, then neutral double jump JP will whiff, so it's best to double jump forward. It works the same in the corner, and you don't need to worry about dash jumping. The bonus of this setup is that it loops back into itself on the high and the low. It can occasionally side switch if you dash jump at certain spacing, but it'll still work either way. The next Oki setup is a big jump in difficulty. It's typically called TK Roll Oki, but it isn't done with a TK input since that will give super jump. This setup is done by doing 2D into 2 on for S, then jumping forward, neutral, or back, and doing a low air roll. So it's input by doing 7, 8, or 9, then 2 on 4 K rather than 2147k. If you TK with 2147k, then it will give you super jump, removing the option of double jumping. But after roll, do JS, which is a safe jump. After both hits of JS connect, the mixup is land 2k, or double jump JP, which confirms with delayed k into the yo-yo coming back, though I find this confirmed to be pretty difficult. This double jump overhead works even if they FD. For the low, just do 2k right into roll for another mixup, or just a combo into another knockdown. A slight variation is to do the first hit of JS, then JH to fall faster into 2k 6k roll, or even with JP instead of JS to fall and go right into a low. The JS being meaty should stop them from wanting to mash, but keep in mind that the with JP into low is fake. Throwing in single hit JS into with JD throw also works. The TK roll mixup works from other knockdowns like a corner air hit 2h into 2 on for s This can be set up through RC combos or even corner carry combos from other Oki setups. Between these setups, each has their own pros and cons between number of options, ease of use, option selects, and more. So test them out and go with whatever works for you. For throw Oki, dash 2 on for S into midi close slash, then one hit of 2S, 5H roll. This works even against FD for true string into mix. Or dash 2 on for S into dash throw for a combo off the yo-yo. With good timing, you can get close slash delayed tap dust to combo off the yo-yo, but it is pretty specific. If you miss the timing on dash into 2 on for S and just get the yo-yo, do dash 2S first hit, then 5H into follow up, then roll. You can just do both hits of 2S and not dash, but then the back dash avoids it while the dash 2S catches it. A metered setup is 2 on for S dash BRC delay 5K. This will safe jab reversals and give enough block stun to go into roll. Just make sure to practice how long to delay. In the corner, 2 on 4 s into dash close slash 2s then roll instead since the yo-yo takes less time to travel. This also makes the close slash into tap dust combo easier. Using this along with a double low 2s makes it even better. For low more damage, OTG 2h into 2 on 4 s works too. Instead of dash close slash, dash throw will combo into the yo-yo. But on some of the bigger characters, it makes it so you get far slash instead of close slash. This means you'll have to take a little risk with dash up close slash or just do the original setup. Instead of 2H into 2 for s 2-3-6-S also works. This is a disjointed midi that leaves you very plus and lets you block reversals. We'll come back to this in a minute. From most normal hits midscreen, she'll route into scooter either hitting or whiffing. Either way, you'll want to hold 4 to do the faster scooter to hit them or stay close enough when whiffing. 
Off of Far Slash or 5H, Scooter into Shoot will leave you plus enough and close enough for a meaty close slash. Anytime you get an S or H follow up to hit, Scooter at them and you'll be plus enough to meaty close slash. You'll go into Shoot for most combos that put them in the air, but the Oki works the same no matter how long the combo is or how far from the corner. But you can choose down with a break if you reach the corner and go into 2 1 for S Oki, which will leave you at varying levels of plus frames depending on the height. And now back to 2 3 6 S Oki. While it is great because it's so plus and safe, if they wake up 6p and you're in range, there isn't really anything you can do about it. But since there's no real way of knowing if you did 2 on 4 s or 2 3 6 s until it would have made contact with them, 2 on 4 s into close slash will counter hit 6p attempts. Since you may only be plus 2 after 2 on 4 s, close slash will lose to 4 frame mashes. But this means you'd want to do 2k instead which is worse for mixups but safer overall for Oki. It does at least set up plus frames and give you chances to go into roll even if it's unsafe. But this is one of those knowledge check situations where you only really need to go through all this RPS if they show they know how to fight it. Also, 2 on for us into 2k or close slash can lose to wake up throw, though 2-3 success will easily beat this, so be careful. But remember, if they're scared of 2-3 success meaty and you did 2 on for us, dash throw will combo into the yo-yo. To avoid the throw, TK J 236H meaties and leaves you plus without them being able to 6p it. It doesn't let you do roll into JD, but it will let you cancel early into JP. It's not the strongest mix-up, but it does at least combo into 2k and give fairly quick overhead options. Command Grab gives a manually timed dash IED JS safe jump which I find to be a bit inconsistent, but gives an easy meaty through whiff scooter into close slash. In the corner, 2 on 4s roll JK works as a safe jump, but the timing is very tight to make truly safe jump. It's still worth going for, especially against non-DP characters, but not necessary. It's better in my opinion to just do OTG close slash dash care 2 on 4s for the regular roll mix-ups. From mid-screen combos ending with air hit 2h, 2 on for s into IED js is a nice easy safe jump. Another way to do it is 2 on for s roll into js. It's generally more common to just do 2h into delayed scooter, but having a safe jump is nice. If you do charge bottle salt, it gives a left right by doing the air backdash jd at different timings. From counter hit 6p, you can dash up 2 on for s and still be plus enough to close slash setting up the typical roll mix. And here's one gimmicky corner steel Oki setup from 6H. Just do close slash 6H super, then 6H again to get the corner back in wall break. Now that they've removed wild assault hard knockdowns and reduced the burst gain on wall splat, it can be useful to do wall slump loops. From the low 2k, roll into JK will restick them from the TK roll Oki, then backdash 2 1 for S into TK roll Oki again. From the overhead JP, do a falling JS into JH, into with 2k to kill time then 2 on for s to set it up again. If you're not doing TK roll Oki and the wall has more health, just keep them grounded and continue the normal ground string, but change it to close slash into delayed 2h so they stay grounded for scooter, then backdash 2 on for s into TK roll, or 2 on for s into jump forward with JK, falling JS into the high low, converting the high with JP roll JH. If you splat with a normal, cancel into 2 on for s, then dash jump and roll when you're at about the apex of the jump. For the overhead, air backdash JP or JS, and for the low, if you time the roll right, it'll bring you right to the ground for a 2k. If you're too early, then the roll will hit and wall break them, but too late and it'll hit their block. Overall, it's difficult and not necessary, but good to have. A more simple way to do this if you spot with a normal is to cancel into command grab, then 2 on for s to set up the typical roll mix. But since you're so plus, you'll need to dash close slash 2s then roll. What's nice about this is that you build risk so that the loops do a little more damage. The final slump loop is to cancel the splat into 2 on for s then backdash into slight charge roll. For the high-low, do a delayed JK or early air normal to fast fall into 2k. And something nice about this setup is because it splats after 2 hits, which is when you would input the roll for the second mixup, if they got hit, it eats the roll input letting you throw out 2 on for s and set it up again. So from the overhead, you'll do JK 2k into roll, and from the low, it's 2k 6k into roll. But as you can see, I input roll and it doesn't come out because of the splat, letting me 2 on for s into the setup again. If you're going to wall slump loop, I recommend one of these last two setups. For super wall breaks, IED JS will safe jump, and it's better with IED FD. If you want to avoid reversals and play some more neutral, 2 on for s works fine, though you'll be slightly minus, not that it makes much of a difference. Or you can just run up close slash and string it to scooter and shoot for the high low mix up, since you'll build about a bar just from that. Thank you for watching.